Hey everybody, Home Slash Henry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out some very spicy battles in the Ultra Holiday Cup featuring SmackDown Celestila. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now, Celestila is a steel and flying type Pokemon, much like Skarmory, so a lot of Charizards think they have a good matchup against it. However, with SmackDown, Celestila is absolutely able to destroy Charizard along the way. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out SmackDown Celesteela in action in the Ultra Holiday Cup. Hopping to the first match, picking up a pretty neutral lead, Giratina into Obstagoon. Thanks to Dragon Breath, Giratina can fight back very effectively in this matchup. Obstagoon, of course, is going to be spamming out these super effective Night Slashes, but the combination of neutral Dragon Breath plus Dragon Claws will hold up quite nicely as well. Giratina is gonna fire back with the Dragon Claw. That's able to land. They're going for Night Slash number two. Thankfully, they have not boosted so far. So things honestly going pretty well for Giratina. Giratina wants to get the Goon as low as possible because Goon would have an absolute field day against the Lowland Golem in the back. This Night Slash will be getting Giratina very low. Giratina is gonna let this through and then save switch into Celesteela. And the opponent responds with a Charizard. Opponent falls right into the trap. Celesteela can shield once, farm all the way down, and leave with a ton of energy. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Moving into the next match, leading Giratina into Snorlax. Snorlax is able to hit for super effective damage with the Licks, but with Snorlax's standard moveset, they can't really do a lot of damage to Giratina in terms of charge move pressure. Giratina is able to land the Dragon Claw. Snorlax is farming up quite a bit of energy though. Giratina going for Dragon Claw number two. That's gonna connect. They save switch into Shadow Charizard, and the farm happens again. Celesteela will be able to shield up farm all the way down and leave with a ton of energy for whatever the opponent decides to bring in. It is so satisfying watching Charizard get absolutely deleted. Back in comes Snorlax. Snorlax will be met with a body slam from Celesteela. Celesteela is able to grab a shield. Snorlax does have the superpower if they want to do any meaningful damage here. That's exactly what they're going to do. They go for superpower number one. The second move is now going to be doing less because they have debuffed themselves. In the back, the opponent has a second in fire type they have talon flame body slam lands in comes a lolan golem and that is a good game bit of a tricky lead in the next match giratina into wall rain not the greatest matchup here for giratina so we are going to see a safe switch into celesteela and the opponent is going to respond with a giratina of their own Giratina, of course, is hitting for resistant damage here with these Dragon Breaths, but the Ancient Powers will hit for some decent neutral damage. Celesteela is going to fire off the Iron Head. Iron Head will do some solid neutral damage in return, as this does appear to be a fairly neutral matchup across the board. Giratina firing off charge move number two. Celesteela is going to let that through. Ancient Power is going to get Celesteela low, but Celesteela able to hang on and reach another Iron Head. This Iron Head is going to grab a shield from the Giratina. Giratina looking for the farm down, and they're able to get it. But Celesteela was able to get shield advantage, which is honestly pretty nice here. Giratina is going to be met with a charge move, going to let that through, recognizing that honestly, you can survive that. And now it's all up to the Alolan Golem in the back. Alolan Golem going for the Rock Blast right away, trying to get some super effective chip damage onto the Walrein. Walrein is going to let that through. Walrein does have a decent amount of energy here. Committing the shield, it's just an Icicle Spear, going for another Rock Blast, continuing to apply pressure onto the opponent. If the opponent shields, they're weak in the back, and they do. They appear to be very weak to rock types in the back. Could it be a Charizard? Walrein full sends the Earthquake. It's the Charizard in the back. Charizard going to be absolutely vanquished by the Stone Edge. Alolan Golem closing strong, and that is a good game. Picking up a great lead in the next match, Giratina into Talonflame. Honestly, this entire team has the ability to hit Talonflame for double super effective damage. So a very nice Pokemon for this team to see. This is enough for the Brave Bird. Brave Bird would not KO, but we do see a shield being used. They go straight for the Brave Bird. They save switch into a Alolan Ninetales, which will be met with the loaded Ancient Power. Ancient Power lands, and now it's time for Celesteela to farm all the way down. Celesteela will be able to tank this neutral Weather Ball no problem, farm down, and leave with a nice amount of energy. Opponent probably not going to want to bring a Talonflame into a SmackDown user, so we should see the third here. And it ends up being an XL Lantern. Honestly, that is a pretty cool pick. 
Body Slam is going to connect, and from here, things are looking pretty good, because you can align the Giratina onto the Lantern, and Giratina absolutely walls it, and then you have the Alolan Golem in the bag to absolutely destroy the Talonflame. Celesteela able to reach yet another Body Slam, getting them quite low, and now in comes Tina, they send in the Talonflame, in comes the Golem, and that is a good game. Moving into the next match, leading Giratina into Charizard. We see an immediate safe switch into Celesteela. These Smackdowns tearing through the Charizard as the opponent loses half their HP before they're able to make a switch. Smackdown just incredibly oppressive against Charizard. The opponent sent out Giratina, which is honestly very nice because Alolan Golem wants no part of this Giratina. Giratina fires off the Ancient Power, Celesteela able to tank it and reach the Iron Head on what appears to be a CMP tie. This Iron Head will do some solid chip damage, so the opponent is actually going to commit the shield. And honestly, at this point, I think you just take your shield advantage. Exactly. Giratina will be able to farm down, but honestly, that's not too worrying as you can just bring in your own Giratina, farm them down, and have an energy lead to potentially threaten the Charizard later in the match. Opponent is going to fire off Dragon Claw. They do not get to a second one, and they're going to send in Wall Rain. Oh man, they are very weak to rock types. Alolan Golem is about to make them feel pain. Just going to stay in here, try and make a catch of an Icicle Spear, but unfortunately the opponent is able to hold on to their energy. They do have enough for the Quake here, and they full send it. That proves to be a massive shield, and now Alolan Golem is about to go on a rampage. Rock Blast gets the shield, able to reach another Rock Blast. In comes the Charizard. Charizard does have a lot of energy here. This would not be lethal. They go for the Blast Burn. Golem tanks it, reaches the back-to-back -back Rock Blast, and that will be game over. First Rock Blast takes care of the Charizard. Second one takes care of the Wall Rain as Alolan Golem closes again. Neutral lead in the next match, Giratina altered into Dragonite. Dragonite would of course win CMP, so Giratina is just gonna go for the extra. One Dragon Claw is non-lethal, lets it through, and we see a simultaneous safe switch, Celesteela, into Shadow Snorlax. Celesteela is gonna strike first, going for the Body Slam. This will do some neutral chip damage. And as always, Snorlax will have to go for the self-debuffing move of Superpower if they want to do any meaningful damage in this matchup. Snorlax does go for the Superpower. Celesteela able to hang on and reach the Body Slam. Opponent is debuffed. Will this KO? It barely does not. Opponent able to hang on with a sliver of HP, reach the Superpower, and get the KO. However, you can honestly get a nice energy lead on the Alolan Golem here as you can get an entire Volt Switch. And now we'll have to see what the opponent does have in the back. Do they bring in the Dragonite? They do not. They're going to send in Ampharos. And that is going to be met with a Stone Edge. Stone Edge will hurt quite a bit, so the opponent is going to commit the shield here. They do have enough for a Focus Blast. Are they going to full send it here? Commits the shield, and it ends up just being a Brutal Swing. Able to reach a Stone Edge. This cannot be a Focus Blast here. So we are going to see Golem let that through as it is just the Brutal Swing. And a Lolan Golem firing off Stone Edge number two onto the Ampharos. Ampharos is double shielding in this matchup. A Lolan Golem continuing to farm. This Brutal Swing would be lethal. Do you shield and try and make it to the Stone Edge? Able to get to the Stone Edge. This should be taking care of the Ampharos. And if you remember, Giratina saved a move, so Giratina should be able to get rid of the Dragonite. Ampharos was barely able to hang on. In comes Dragonite, and they're met with the loaded Dragon Claw from Giratina. That'll take care of the Dragonite with some Dragon Breaths, farming down the Ampharos as well, and securing the win. Dream lead in the next match, Giratina into Verizian. Opponent is going to save switch into Shadow Snorlax, which will be met with the Celesteela. Keeping switch advantage is a top priority in this game, as you do not want the Verizian anywhere near the Alolan Golem. Celesteela will fire off the Body Slam. Snorlax does need two moves to KO here, so you can let the first one through, and they end up going for a Body Slam anyway. Celesteela goes for Body Slam number two, and it ends up being a CMP tie. This Body Slam, barely not enough to 
KO, and Celesteela will need to commit a shield here as keeping Switch is a top priority. Commits the shield on the superpower, able to get the farm down. We'll have to see, does the opponent send in Virizion for the double kick farm down, or do we see their third? They're gonna send in Virizion, recognizing that Virizion is in a pretty decent spot to farm, but the opponent actually decides to throw a Sacred Sword. Honestly, that works out pretty nicely. In the back, it's Aurorus, and Aurorus is going to be met with a Lolan Golem. Aurorus is gonna start firing off charge moves. They go for the Meteor Beam, and that connects, dealing quite a bit of damage. A Lolan Golem is gonna return fire with the Rock Blast here. Golem already into the red, as Meteor Beam just hits incredibly hard. Bit of a tough decision to make here. Will commit the shield on the Weather Ball. A Lolan Golem now going for the kill shot with the Stone Edge, hoping the opponent decides to call a Rock Blast here, but they do not. And unfortunately, it's looking like Aurorus is in a position to close out this game. Aurorus is gonna fire off the boosted Weather Ball. That does quite a lot of damage. Giratina reaches the Ancient Power. Is this going to be enough to KO? Aurorus is very tanky. Aurorus hangs on, makes it to the Weather Ball. Weather Ball will be taken care of the Giratina, and that will be game over. Tough lead in the next match, Giratina into another Walrein. Same game plan as before, save switch into Celesteela, and Walrein is taking quite a lot of smackdown damage to fire off this Icicle Spear. Icicle Spear is going to connect, opponent is gonna send in Giratina, and again, baiting out the Giratina is quite good news for a Lolan Golem. Iron Head is going to connect, dealing some solid chip damage, and the opponent is gonna start firing off charge moves of their own. They go for the Ancient Power, that's gonna land, and unfortunately they get the the ancient power boost that is a bit scary as now they should just be able to dragon breath down firing off the iron head that's not going to do a ton of damage since the opponent is boosted and at this point do you just tank the boosted damage onto your giratina you could of course commit a shield it is definitely going to hurt here but just going to let it go trusting in the fact that a lowland golem can sweep now that the Giratina is out of the way, in comes Walrein. Walrein will be met with the Ancient Power from Giratina, and then it's a Lolan Golem time. Able to grab a shield, that's quite nice, and catch the Icicle Spear onto a Lolan Golem. Very nicely done, and now we'll have to see what they have in the back, and they are not switching out. Could it be another Charizard? A Lolan Golem is going to commit the shield here on the Icicle Spear. Already took one, not really wanted to take the damage from another, and beginning to fire off the Rock Blast. Rock Blast gets the shield. Oh, they are definitely weak to Rock in the back. Able to get the Volt Switch through. A Lolan Golem is going to look and try and go for the farm down here in the back. They have Charizard, and this is game over for them. Stone Edge one shots the Charizard, and that is a good game. Hopping into the final match, leading Giratina into Gyarados. We are going to see a save switch into Celesteela, and the opponent is going to respond with Ampharos. Ampharos, definitely not the Pokemon you're hoping to bait out with Celesteela, as Celesteela, not in a fabulous spot here. Opponent has farmed up a ton of energy, and they're going to start firing it off. Celesteela is going to let this through. They go for the Thunder Punch. Celesteela able to hang on and reach a last second Body Slam. Body Slam is going to get the Ampharos low and Ampharos is forced to fire off their charge move and we see a shield from the Celesteela and against all odds Celesteela takes switch from an Ampharos and now gets to punish the Gyarados with a Lolan Golem. Golem is going to shield up the Aqua Tail. These Volt Switches tearing through and in the back they have Virizion so taking switch advantage proves to be incredibly impactful as Virizion has a terrible matchup against Giratina. Virizion has a 2-0 shield advantage and may need both of those shields if they want a chance to get through the bulky Giratina. Giratina continues to farm and ends up forcing a CMP tie. They're going for Stone Edge number two. That's going to land, but they're going to need an entire third Stone Edge as this is definitely not close to Sacred Sword range. Dragon Claw is going to land. Giratina continues to farm up, reaching yet another Dragon Claw here. This Dragon Claw will be grabbing the final shield. Opponent lets it go, trusting in the Gyarados, and that's not going to help them. They needed to shield that Virizion as now... Their Gyarados is just going to get destroyed by a Lolan Golem. Aqua Tail will not KO. Golem has the second Rock Blast loaded, taking care of business. And that is a good game.
All in all, SmackDown Celestila appears to be a pretty solid anti-meta pick, especially with all the Charizards roaming around, the ability to save switch a Steel Flying type, bait out a Charizard, and then absolutely bully them with SmackDown looks to be very, very fun to use. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.